What's going on YouTube? You already know who it is. Back at with a brand new video for you guys today. Happy Monday. Hope you guys have a great week. So do I. So anyway, we're finally here. Q&A. So got some questions from a couple of you all. So just be, just keep in mind when we do the next Q&A, maybe like maybe 5k subscribers or something like that. Or if I go live or something. You know, keep some questions in mind that you might want to ask me. So without any further ado, let's get into it. But let me turn my fan this way because this show is hot in here. Hold on. All right. First question. When did you start YouTube? Um, when did I start YouTube? I started YouTube about four years ago. Mm-hmm. Um, sorry, I had to drink some water. You know what I'm saying? Um, four years ago. What was that four years ago? So actually six years ago. 2014 I believe whenever that last like Batman game came out um, It wasn't a serious video. I was just like trying to make my own little gameplay and uh, Cuz I do want to be a gamer by the way um, But like I said before I just want to get everything set up so probably by the time we move next year probably I want to have my own like separate room. It'll be strictly for you know YouTube, you know because You know I want to have my own little setup, not just in my room or whatever, but, you know, my own, like, a little office, you know, that type of thing, so. Um, but, yeah, that was, it was just, like, a little beginner's video, and then when I got interested in doing reaction videos, hold on, let me see, because I, on my YouTube right now, uh, so my very first reaction video was back in, yep, I got to check, because it's been a while, shoot, it's been a while, um, my first reaction video was that which one was it? Was pretty much. I think I want to start with Boo 2 of Medea Halloween. Um that was three years ago. So and you know, right now it was is at about 746 views, you know. And it was crazy because, you know, then I did like a little video watching some stuff about Jeepers Creepers. If you could see that way right here. Sorry, it's a little blurry, but that's that's me. That's me, just know that's me. And then I did a reaction video to American Horror Story Cult. That was season seven. And uh, that season was pretty, you know, made me itch. You know, they got into the whole thing of trypophobia, politics and stuff. And look where we're at now <laughs> in the world. Go vote, y'all. We got to do something. You know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, that was the start of it. And I just, you know, learned my own like pattern and stuff, you know, being consistent and everything. And I know I've been taking a couple of breaks and stuff, but you know, outside of YouTube, I do work from home, you know, being a caregiver, taking care of my grandmother and stuff like that. So, you know, and there's, you know, some other stuff, you know, with life and everything else. So sometimes that's why you may not see me on here, you know, but don't worry, I'm not going away. All right, second question. Where are you from? I'm from Chicago, Illinois. I was born there, raised there. Um, I just moved here to Milwaukee. Just moved to Milwaukee um, Christmas 2015. Yep, it's been that long, five years ago. Wow, 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 wow. Um, that was something, we wanted to move here, you know, for like family reasons and stuff like that. Um, and I'm, I'm still like just learning my way, but I like it down here. However, I do miss Chicago. I miss my city. I miss my friends down there. My dad is down there. I'm here with my mom and my grandmother. So, you know, but that's where I'm from. Shy City, 107.5 WGCI. Who remember that? If you're from Chicago, you can't tell me you don't remember that. All right, next question. Did you think you would come so far in YouTube and gain 2K subscribers? Honestly, no. Like I was honestly a little bit nervous. <laughs> You know, because I know how people are, you know, you don't look a certain way, you don't act a certain way, you know, and I'm obviously not a like girly girl or whatever, you know, coming up as a kid, I didn't grow up with per se Barbie dolls. If anything, I, I had dolls, but they weren't Barbie dolls. I had Bratz dolls. Y'all remember the Bratz dolls, man. And, and listen, some of y'all might get a little offended, but I loved the Bratz. Okay. They were everything to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, I had damn near all of them. I had Sasha, I had Chloe, I believe. Um, the one with the black hair. Because Chloe, she, she was the blonde girl, right? It's been a long time. I had Cameron, Dylan, 
um, Eaton. His name should have been Ethan. No, I don't know why it was called Eaton. That sounded weird, but okay. Um, yeah, and I used to like do all the shopping for their clothes. I had the brats, little kids and stuff. You know, Barbie, they they didn't have it like that. You know, but of course, brats was more urban. You know what I'm saying? And I just that's just what I liked. So, and I had plush dolls, the Rugrats, the Teletubbies, the Barneys. I had it all. And plus, us 90s. 90s baby slash 2000 kids we had we had some dope shit y'all i don't care we had some great cartoons movies toys you name it you know now everything they want to reboot everything and make it look crazy i mean you can't tell me spongebob in 2020 is the same spongebob from 1999 and i think that's a, a slap in the face and some disrespect towards um steven the creator of Spongebob. Like, stop reanimating these characters and making them act even crazy, just like how they did with Looney Tunes. You can't pay me to watch that new Lo Looney Tunes bullshit. It should just be called new bullshit because the way they acting, nah, it ain't It ain't ever touching the classic Looney Tunes. Hell, they don't even touch baby Looney Tunes. Y'all remember that shit? Taylor, everybody is a wonderful day. Okay, I got off topic, but listen. I'm, you know, I like games and stuff like that. And, you know, I, for a while now, I was interested. Before I got serious with being a uh, reactor and stuff, um, you know, I was just thinking about it, but I wasn't so sure, you know, and I wanted to get a camera. You know, I would had the Logitech camera for quite a while now, but, you know, I want to update to something else. Got me a little ring light over here. And, uh, yeah, I just wanted to be as, you know, professional, but, you know, as real as I can be with y'all. You know, I give y'all my honest reaction to the stuff I've reacted to. Um, hasn't really been too many trailers out right now, you know, and then everything that has, you know, trailers that have been released that a lot of movies are being pushed back or, you know, something like that because of what's going on in the world right now. And, you know, not people who aren't really trying to risk going to the movies, even though I want to go see Tenet, I really want to go see that, but you know, I, I think about it, you know, I think about it because it, you know, hopefully it would have been on the whole virtual on demand thing, but I'm, you know, it's not so. And then they pushed the Candyman back to October, I believe, and because it's supposed to be September 25th, but that's a whole shebang. But you know, I just appreciate you guys for continuing on to subscribe, and I hope you all keep subscribing, keep requesting uh, videos for us to react to together. And uh, yeah, and I hope you guys will subscribe to my gaming channel. That's not here yet. Hope just just wait on it, y'all. Just be patient with me. All right. Uh, hell, I'm still, I gotta get this old ass computer up out here. I know that. Just, <laughs> that's sooner than later, though. But, um, yeah, so, I'm just thankful. Though. I honestly, I was honestly nervous. I didn't even think I was gonna get to 500 subscribers, let alone 2,000, over 2K subscribers. So, thank you all once again for subscribing and watching my videos. And just, I thank y'all for sticking around, you know? So, next question. What do you like to do? The simple question. Um, well, I do every now and then like to read a book. Yeah, it just depends, though. I like certain books. I like, you know, stuff with, like, an urban edge to it. I got a book somewhere down here. I don't know where the hell it is. It was damn good. It was like a love and hip-hop slash empire slash power type of situation, but it was really good. Like, I read the whole thing. It had about, I'll say maybe 300 pages. <sighs> Excuse me. Maybe, like, two to 300 pages something like that but it was damn good um i have a couple of books on like mental health and spirituality because i want to get more into that and get all of that together you know i could be in a better mental state and spiritual state you know because when we were children we didn't know what all that stuff was when you're a kid you don't have worries you know you don't have to worry about being an adult you know you don't but I'm working on it. Just, you know, just just wait on it. I'm working on that, too. And thank you all who for, you know, for supporting me, whoever does. And uh, so, yeah. So, not only that, but, of course, I love video games, okay? Gamer at heart. Hashtag PlayStation. Hashtag Sony. I do have an Xbox One, but just for certain things, you know. And if I want to play a certain game to not uh, ruin, mess up so much space or take up. So much space on my PlayStation 4 because I'm still waiting on it. We all waiting on the PlayStation 5. So, But shout out to my gamer guys and girls out there. You know, I'm a gamer girl, of course. Um, games I'm looking forward to playing. It's a lot of them. It's a lot of them. But one, definitely, um, that Batman game is coming out. Gotham Knights, I believe. 
Ooh, that's gonna be a good one. Did y'all, because we, we all react, y'all saw me react to it. Um, what was that, last week? Week before, something like that? Yeah. Graphics look great. I cannot wait though to purchase the PlayStation 5. Like, I look forward to going to the store that day. I wonder, should I go to Best Buy? Like, y'all, let me know in the comment section. Should I go to Best Buy, Walmart? No, maybe not Walmart. Um, or like GameStop. Y'all, let me know what y'all think I should do. Okay, so definitely video games. Definitely <clears throat> music. I love music. Without music, I don't know where I would be. Like, if I'm feeling down or depressed or something like that, definitely I go to music. I have a variety. I have an ear for a lot of stuff, you know. I like, of course, I like R&B. That's my top, top genre of music, R&B. Um, then it's rap. Then it's trap. Um, I do like rock. Anybody put... Is Coldplay, is, are they in like a rock? Would they be in a rock genre or would they be in something else? Somebody let me know. You know, because I like Coldplay. So Maroon 5, you know, Red Hot Chili Peppers. Now they would be in a rock, I'm sure. Um, and some other. Basement Jacks. Who don't remember them? Where's your head at? But yeah, long story short, gotta have my music. Um, I, I listen to a bit of country too. I like pop as well. Um... Favorite artist, maybe Brandy, Michael Jackson, Usher, etc. It's, it's a lot of people that I like, but if I had to pick like a top three, I, I would go with them. So, yeah, good one. What guest characters do you want to see in Mortal Kombat 11 for Combat Pack 2? I think you all know who I'm going to say first. Melina, of course. I don't know what the hell is going on with that. I don't appreciate it. I just, because it's like, they damn near have every female character back on that game, but you have yet, they have yet to put Melina on there. I'm, pre I'm pretty sure it's like maybe one or two characters missing from the female category, but I would like to see Melina make a comeback. They have everybody else on there. Wasn't she in the little friendship thing? You know, over here hugging and playing patty cake or whatever with um Katana. So, what's the hold up with putting her back in the game? Make her look savage, but with a feminine touch. You know what I'm saying. You know how she is. Because, you know, when she take that mask off, them teeth, it's a wrap. It's a wrap. So, I definitely would like to see her. Also, I would like to see, because I think this was just like a fake thing, a fake list of who was going to be on Combat Pat 2. Um... The top one of the top ones was Candyman, so that would be interesting. I wonder where they would go with that. Uh, I'm pretty sure they would make it really creepy because Candyman, you know, he has a deep voice, and you know, he's not so hyped with it until he starts gutting the hell out of somebody, but like he's just so calm when he speaks to you, even though he's scaring the hell out of you. He's like, be my victim, and all the all was her name. She all she did was faint and all that type of thing going on. So, I would like to see her in see him excuse me uh in mortal kombat as a guest character but we'll see we shall see is there gonna be a combat pack two like because it's, it's taking a while i ain't heard nothing else about it i mean maybe they're working on it i don't know i might have to check up on their social media on instagram but um yeah that would be nice so have you ever had a worst movie theater experience mm. worst well, I'm going to speak from kid me. So, prime example. Back in Chicago. Uh, I don't know exactly what we went to go see. But it was definitely around the time where the see the Chucky came out. It was around that time. Uh, so, and back during those days, I was not a fan of Chucky. Not because I thought his the movies were bad, but because I'm a kid and he scared the hell out of me. This big ass doll, you know, looking so menacing and just mean, you know, this evil smile on his face. And it's not that I saw the doll in person or even saw the movie at that time, but they had those, you know, those little crane box toy things where, you know, you get the little toy, you know, the claw, that thing, right? So they had a picture of him and it was like, you know, catch me if you can. And I don't know what it, it just, it just bothered my spirit. Like every time I would go past it, 
it would just bother me like it would scare me like i i wouldn't even want to play with the damn crane thing because that picture was sitting right there and it was just it was dark in the theater you know how it is in the movie theaters and it just ooh. and then when the seed of chucky came out um they had some damn dolls of him and tiffany sitting right together in the damn thing and it was just like every time we walked past i just made sure to not look at it like oh if we went back to that theater and they were still in there i would just make sure to not look at it look at it when we were on the way home because i had to walk past because i just felt like chucky was gonna get my ass you know how you know how kids are you know with stuff that scared them they don't want nothing to do with that so honestly yeah but this this definitely tops that one um when we went to go see dead silence me and my mother so i was 11 for sure because Dead Silence came out in, what, 2007, I believe? The bottom line is, ugh. I was terrified, traumatized, all kind of eyes throughout that whole damn movie. I'm like, is this over with? Like, honestly, because I didn't know what. And honestly, I don't even know how it came about for me wanting to go. I don't know if I asked to go see it or what, you know, because I didn't know what I was getting myself into. Because James Wan made this movie am i right and he sure made it scary i mean he made saw and all that so i'm not surprised that that one would be in any less scary or whatever you know but we all know what if you saw dead silence and when lisa got her her shit all ripped the fuck open and jamie discovered her body and i was just like looking in the damn popcorn because i'm telling you i was traumatized i was trauma fucking tized Okay, like throughout the whole movie, and then when Mary Shaw made her first appearance, like as dead and just floating around and shit trying to get Henry, I'm like, oh, uh uh, uh uh, is it over yet? Is it over? Like, seriously, y'all, I was just terrified. I was ready to go home. So, those were definitely not so great experiences for me coming up as a kid at the movie theater. But other than that, um, I enjoyed going to the movies. I miss going to the movies because of what's going on right now in the world. But, you know, hopefully, we could all do that once again what was the best and worst movie adaption of a video game so hmm so do you mean like it was a movie first and then it turned into a video game or something let me see movies that had video games after them for me that were good um i'll say ice age because like i said I was a kid. I forgot which one it was. I don't know. Maybe it might have been the Meltdown. I believe something like that. Um, that was that game was everything. That game was everything. I, I actually got a PlayStation 2 just to replay it, relive my childhood days. Man, those were those were good times. Good times. Um, I also say Over the Hedge. Who remembers that movie? That was a good movie as well. And then I played the game. I didn't even know they had one honestly until like recently. I was just looking at PlayStation 2 games. And it was there, and I was like, okay, let me check this out. And it was pretty cool, pretty cool. I was entertained. Um, took about a couple of days to beat it, you know what I'm saying? So I'll go with that. I don't necessarily say it was a worse one um, as far as, like, movies that turn into games or something like that, if that's what you meant. Um, okay, y'all, last question, but this is a good one. What horror movie that you didn't like that can be remade today? Well, I meant, well... Okay, so what is a horror movie that I didn't like that can be remade today or in the future? Um, hmm. There's been quite a few that could have been better. Let me just give me a minute to think, y'all. Okay, to be fair, I won't say I didn't like it. Um, however, it was a bit repetitive. The Nun. So let me explain. For the most part, all they had Velik do in the movie is just walk around slow as hell in the hallways, <laughs> in the water, pop up out of nowhere, and then you had the scary, like, choir men in the background with the, that type of thing. And that's all, that's all fine, but after a while it gets old and tired because, I, like I said, that's all that she pretty much did in that movie. Like, the way that they um, revealed her to us, the movie theater people watching, uh, when she was in The Conjuring 2. That's the type of stuff that we need to see. You know, her coming out of the damn pictures on the wall, chasing after Lorraine, um, showing her, showing her, showing us those teeth 
that she had um, at the end of The Conjuring 2. Like, she scared the living hell out of me um, when we went to go see that. And we was, like, sitting close to the front of the screen when we saw um, The Conjuring 2. And I'm like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. And then, like, when they blessed her away, you know, well, not blessed her, but, you know, put that bless oil and told her to go back to hell and she shape-shifted into the devil with the horns and all that. I'm like, oh, hell no. That's the type of stuff they need to um, put. Like, say, for instance, if the nun was to get a second movie, you know, don't 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 repeat the same type of scenes. You know what I'm saying? Nobody wants to see that. Yeah, definitely if the nun was to get a part two, I would hope they would, you know, improve on making her scenes when she appears more scary and not just so repetitive. Like her just walking slow. Cause that gets old. Like, girl, why are you walking so slow? At this point, you should be running and showing those crazy teeth of yours. That's what she should be doing. I'm like that, but it wasn't bad. You know, it wasn't it didn't suck. But it could have been better. I will say that. But um in another movie, I'll say it was it was a movie called Thriller. It was on Netflix and it was just of all black cast pretty much. Um they could have had some better actors. I mean, no shade. You know, not trying to put my people down, but oh Lord. You know, if y'all got to go and go and find some people that y'all had like on the Candyman or something like that, because that was a hot mess. Like some of them people, they really couldn't act like this the the, the the fake scares and trying to act scared and doing it. And this the dialogue, it's like, oh my God. This is horrible. This is horrible. So, definitely something like that. But, other than that, that's all I can really think of. Because most horror movies that I've seen, they've really done a number on me. Not all of them, but most of them. Hey, you guys, that's all the questions I have for now. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video on me answering these questions for you guys. So just to know a little bit more about me. Um, and just thank you all for asking me some questions. And uh, once again, with that being said, with that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. If there are some questions you have that you want to ask me, uh, don't hesitate. Just put it in the comment section and we'll get to it in the next Q&A. If there's some other stuff I can react to, let me know in the comment section as well. Hit that subscribe button, follow me on my Instagram, my Twitter, hit that notification bell so you guys can know to have a video up and loaded. Once again, you guys, thank you all for subscribing to the channel. Appreciate it very much. Continue on to check on the videos. You know what I'm saying? Keep subscribing. Send me some questions, all of that. If you need some advice, I'm here to answer. Don't mind at all. And thank you all once again. I appreciate it. And I'll see you all in the next video. Taylor Rain, I'm out.